So as a longtime user of OBS Studio, Meld Studio is really, really piquing my interest. I've been messing with it a lot, and I decided that, you know what? There's a really, really good use case for this piece of software, and it's going to be for pretty much anyone that's trying to start streaming right now or moving forward, even intermediate streamers. Moving over to Meld might be the right move, to be completely honest. So in this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Meld. Uh, very basic to get your stream up and running. It has a lot of cool features that aren't built into OBS, uh, especially the new clipping feature that they just released, which we'll go over in this video as well. So from start to finish, this video is going to help you guys take Meld Studio from a blank canvas, set it up so that you can go live on all of your platforms if you're multi-streaming, whatever it is, okay? So before we do that, though, you guys know how important it is to make your stream stand out in the sea of millions of streamers over on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, everywhere. It's really important nowadays since it's oversaturated to make your stream pop, make it look unique, and stand out in that crowd. And if that's you and you're interested in doing that, you guys got to check out the sponsor for today's video, Owned.TV. Owned.TV is your one-stop shop for fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, emotes, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you could change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you're looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. And don't forget, Use code HAMMER at checkout for an additional 50% off your order. Now, back to the video. Okay, so now that we're back, we're going to jump over to my desktop. We have a blank canvas of Meld Studio. I deleted everything to make this video for you guys, so let's go take a look at that. Okay, so we have Meld open. We have a blank canvas. We have one scene called Main. No layers in that scene. It's a blank screen. Nothing is going on there. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is come down here to your settings. We're going to open this up and we're going to be in the general tab here. And we're going to be looking at our multi canvas, right? The canvas that we want, we're going to have it in 1080p. If you're streaming in 2K or something like that, you can change that. But for this video, let's keep it on 1080p. Our frame rate, we want this to be at 60 FPS, unless you have a reason why you would want to drop it down to 30 FPS. Um, you're going to have hardware encoder on. You want that on. That's going to use your graphics card to do the encoding instead of your CPU. Hardware encoding is definitely better than software encoding um, because you're going to get way better frames in whatever game you're playing. It's a lot, a lot less resources being used on your PC. So make sure you check the hardware encoder switch here. Uh, for our video bitrate, we want to put this at 8K. We can't really go any higher than this, otherwise you're going to mess some things up, right? There's limitations on Twitch and Kick. Um, if you're doing only YouTube, you can go way higher with your bitrate, but if you are streaming on Kick and Twitch, we're going to keep that set to 8K. Uh, for our quality preset, I have mine set to best quality and slowest. Audio bitrate is 320 kbps. Now, under that, you can see I have all of my accounts, my three YouTube channels, my Twitch, and my Kick channel all linked here. And that's because in Meld Studio, you can multi-stream to all of these places completely for free. You do not have to pay for anything to use this multi-streaming, uh, you know, product that they have for you here. Uh, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to come to stream settings, you're going to hit add output, and you're going to select your output here. If you're logging into your Twitch account, you can do Twitch, and then you can do the same for Kick, YouTube, whatever. Um, and then as you can see here, they're all added. And up in the top right hand corner here, you can turn them all off on whatever you want for that stream, right? You can have it sent to three of them, all six of them, two of them, one of them, you just toggle this little switch. And that means that, it, you know, your stream is going to go out to that platform. So we're going to keep going down um, recording output. If you're going to record using meld, you can obviously, you know, finagle this right here, you know, put where you want it to go, the file format, the bit rate, the quality preset, the audio, whatever. Uh, so let's go back to the general settings uh, for clipping. This is a really cool feature that meld uh, just came out with actually. And I was testing it last night. So for clipping, you come down here, hit edit, right? You can, you can edit the length of the clip that you want. Uh, you want to hit enable clipping. You can choose where you want your clips to be stored in the file format. MKV is great. Um, and then use VOD audio. 
this is going to make it so that, you know, basically if you have a Twitch VOD track going where, you know, you're listening to music on your streams, but you don't want the music to be saved into the VOD itself, you can also do that in Meld. And if you check this right here that says use VOD audio, your clips will also get rid of that music. Um, so if you do want whatever music you're listening to on stream to be in your clip, you would want to uncheck this. But I keep it checked because, you, you know, having those VODs without music and clips without music is great because you can use them in any editing that you want to do afterwards. So after you set up those settings for clipping, now that's it. You can clip with Meld. You don't need to be live and you don't need to be recording. Meld just needs to be open and you can minimize it. And then the best part about that is you guys can use your stream deck. Let me show you here. Let me open up my stream deck. Um, I have a button on my stream deck, which is right here in front of me. Uh, I just push that button and Meld will record a clip to wherever you decided to save it to in however many seconds that you wanted it to be. And like I said, you don't need to be recording. You don't need to be streaming. You don't need to be live. You just need to have Meld open to use it as a clipping thing if that's all you want to do. Uh, so that is fantastic. So scrolling down, that's pretty much everything we need to worry about in this little bit of settings here. We have our plugins section here. If you want to add some extra plugins to meld, I haven't had to use that yet. Um, under advanced, I didn't mess with anything here. Audio, I didn't mess with really anything here. Um, we're going to set up our audio in the mixer later on. You can set up a virtual camera with meld as well. But again, this is just a, you know, basic setup to get you guys, uh, you know, live and streaming. Uh, smart guides. This will be like when you're editing your scene, you can change the color of the lines where you're snapping all of your uh, assets and your layers. Your transition, you can switch how your transition moves here. Your user interface, you can use custom docs just like OBS. If you wanted to use a custom doc, you would select that. Put in the browser URL for that doc. Let's say you want to pop out your kick chat and use it in here, whatever. Uh, you would put that right here. We're not using that currently. You can set a bunch of hotkeys for anything in Meld if you don't have a stream deck. Um, and that's pretty much it in terms of the settings. So what we're going to do now is build our first scene in Meld. So we come down here to scenes. We have one scene, right? Uh, what we're going to do next is in that scene, we're going to add some layers. These are basically, you know, things that make up that scene. So we want to basic have a basic scene, right? We want to have maybe our alerts for follows, subs, or whatever. We want to show our monitor or whatever game we're playing, and we want to have a camera on there. So what we're going to do first is add a camera. I have my webcam up here, my Insta360 link. So that's the camera we're going to add into Meld. We're going to click the plus sign. We're going to click a video device. It's going to pop up with this box right here. And then I'm going to select my Insta360 link. And boom, it's in there. We're going to make it a little bit smaller, bring it down to like maybe like right here-ish. And that looks good, right? We're going to lock it right where it is. So come look at me better. It's not looking at me. There we go. Okay, so that's our that's our webcam. We have our webcam now added into Mel. The only reason I'm not using this camera is because I'm using this camera in OBS to record this video right now. Um, and I wouldn't be able to use it in two different pieces of software at the same time. So aside from that, if you have your camera selected right here, if you look on the right hand side, there's a bunch of different like presets and effects and things you can use. I really have no use case for these currently, but you can, you know, kind of add like quick little effects to your camera uh, with meld, which is really nice over here on the right hand side. I'm going to keep it to just none um, and, and we're going to do it from there. You can use these X, Y and Z with height, all this stuff to transform it. Um, you can round the corners of it if you wanted to which is cool. Uh, like, let's see, I'll show you guys. See, individual corners, look at that. So see how we made this cool, like little shape on our camera. And then if we want to do all the corners, we would just do it like that, you know, and make them even. Uh, if you don't want all the corners, like what if we wanted to just do two of them, we could do it like that. That's a kind of a cool little shape to make. Really cool stuff you can do in here. I like the, the functionality, how they made it so that you can edit stuff on the right hand side here. Uh, so now we have our camera in there. We're going to get rid of those rounded corners, though. Um, and now we want to see our screen. So this is where Meld is a little bit different than OBS Studio. In OBS Studio, you have game capture, right? Let's say you're playing a game. In Meld, you just have what's called display capture. But in display capture, you can either capture your entire display. And then under the three display, I have three displays. So under those, it'll show you specific windows or games. If you have a game open, you could just select that game right here, or you can just show your entire display. So we're going to show our entire display. So I'm going to select my display and there it is. Um, 
we're gonna move that as you can see it's covering my camera that I put on there so we're gonna drag that layer under the camera layer and then we're gonna lock it now we're in a bit of a inception thing going on here which is kind of kind of crazy right uh, so we got that um, you know what let's change it to the other display because this is this is kind of confusing we're gonna click make sure we have that layer selected we're gonna come up here and we're gonna choose a different display we want our alienware there we go perfect 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 and that one is a little bit bigger so we want to make it fit to canvas easily boom we just right click it fit to canvas and it will size it correctly now we have our display showing this is everything that you guys can see um we have our screen we have our camera now we want to set up alerts right we want to know when someone is following us subscribing or whatever so we can use stream lab stream elements there's plenty of different things bot tricks whatever let me open that up so once you go over to stream labs or stream elements wherever it is that you're doing your alerts and you copy that url for your alert box you're going to come back into meld and you're going to click the plus sign you're going to click browser and then we're going to get this little picture right here you might be like oh what the hell do i do now then you're going to come over to the right hand side and this is where you're editing all these assets remember that so you see where it says url we have the browser selected we're going to erase that put in our url that we copied and we are going to hit enter boom now that's it now you have a blank box because this is where your alerts are going to come from so i'll just kind of center it in the middle we'll lock it and then i'll do a test alert so you guys can see boom kevin has followed it worked everything's perfect that's how easy it is to set up your scenes in meld it's great actually i really really love meld i think that it, like this is is has been created for for people that want to get into streaming that don't want to learn a ton of stuff right i've spent the past like eight years learning obs the ins the outs everything there is to do with it um and Mel just seems to make it really simple and it's adding all the features that people over the years are like, man, I wish we could do this with OBS simpler without adding a plugin, right? Which is great. Like just the multi-streaming aspect alone. If I wanted to go live on just kick, I would unselect these and that's it. You hit go live and your stream is just on kick. If you want to go live on all of them, you just check all the boxes. It's that simple. It really is. It's, it's great. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So we're going to just leave those three selected there now. We don't have any audio set up, which is important, right? Look, our audio mixer is empty down here. So we have our basic scene. Now we want to set up the audio. So you're going to come down here to the plus sign. You're going to add one audio track. When you click that, it just adds an audio track. We are going to take this one. And this is going to be our audio track. This I use a Go XLR. So my mic, all of my sounds are mixed down into what's called a broadcast stream mix. If you're someone who's using a gaming headset and a microphone or whatever, this is where you would select this audio track would maybe be your microphone. Um, and then you would add another one, which would be like your headphones. You see what I'm trying to say? But mine are all mixed down into one thing. So we have our broadcasting stream mix, uh, which we will put right here. And then I'll put, you know, let's say let's do another one. Uh, music. OK, because I separate my music. Uh, so that's it for me. It's that simple. If you wanted to add effects and things onto these, uh, you can come up here and click this plus sign. You can change the gain, magic mic, stereo panner. If you want it to go left or right, whatever it is, it's that. It's really simple. Um, and here's the most important part. If you're streaming on Twitch, you obviously want to use a Twitch VOD track, right? You probably have heard about it. Maybe you don't know about it. What a Twitch VOD track does is basically allow you to be listening to music on your stream. Your viewers can hear it and everything. But when Twitch saves the VOD, it takes the music out because the music is playing on a separate track from the rest of your stream's audio, okay? So if you want to be doing that, you would add a secondary audio track right here, like I showed you. Like, let's say this is my music track. I don't have, this is my Twitch VOD track right here. I don't have the music going to it. So you take that track and what you're going to do right here is you're going to click edit. And you're going to say exclude from Twitch VOD track. Boom. And you'll get this little notification, this little pink notification that says VOD excluded. And that's what I was showing you before with the clip section where it will also exclude it from the VODs uh, if you want your that track to be excluded from VODs. Now, let's say you have another audio source and you wanted to add one. And, and you know, this one was your, um, you know, your friends talking on Discord. You wanted to be able your stream to hear it, but you don't want it to be in your VODs. You can do the same thing. You add another one, edit, 
ex exclude from VOD track because that's where my chat's going. This is where my music's going. And this is the audio that my stream is hearing. Now they'll be hearing all of these things as well, but it won't be saved in that VOD. It's, it's awesome, really. It, it really is. Um, and they made it super simple in here to do it. On OBS, it was a little confusing if you've never done it before. Uh, but I suggest anyone who is streaming on Twitch to use the Twitch VOD track feature and make it so that you can't get copyright strikes for music or anything like that. And then taking those clips and editing them later without your friend's audio in there or, or at least without the music in there. Maybe you want your friends talking, you know, the audio in there. Uh, it just makes it a lot better of an experience, right? So that's pretty much it. We're ready to go live right now with Mel. We wanted to go live literally right now we could it's that simple we just set up a basic scene we we set up our audio everything's look you can see when i'm talking that the audio bar is going up it's it's perfect i mean it really is i think that meld is fantastic i'm going to be making a ton of different tutorials going a little bit more in depth with this stuff with you guys uh because i'm really really enjoying learning meld and all the features and new things that they put out every single week it's it's great so uh, yeah, that's really it guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, come over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash hammerdance. We stream Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, that's really it guys. So thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I hope this helped you out. I'll see you all in the next one.